G'day guys and welcome back to the BLGW show, round two, we're back into it. Kate Grady, thanks for coming on board. Oh, I'm always happy to be here. Absolutely, mate. Look, before we jump in too much to our round, we're going to say a massive thank you to our sponsors, guys. Guys, we're going to jump into our round two recap brought to you by Rejuvenate Sports and Remedial Therapy. Kate Grady, before we get into it, mate, welcome to the show. I perform legend, Gawler Central legend. Well, look, last season, bit of a shaky season for you, obviously, yep. but being able to play in the grand final, obviously we had Erica on the show last Amazing, week. Yeah. Have you come down from that high of your grand final win? Oh, I don't think uh, anyone really ever does. You know, you kind of live that one through to your 40s about, but Absolutely. No, it was an amazing game, amazing team that we versed as well, which will be coming up against soon. Um, yeah, amazing day. Really, I was lucky to get into that. Absolutely, and obviously coming back from your own knee rehab as well, ACL, I know you've been at one of our other sponsors, I Perform, where you also work as well, so yeah. quick shout out to those guys. Put the work in to be able to make it back in time for the grand final. Were you happy with that performance? Obviously, you felt comfortable? Yeah, I uh, definitely was nervous, but you know, it was amazing. I had an amazing support around me, amazing team. Um, know lots of people from the Barossa League, um, so even just like coming in versing the Williston girls, they knew a lot of them and they really were a great support to come into it as well. So they, they were a first game that I came in and played against. So Amazing, amazing. And obviously, Williston, Gola Central, looking hot again this season. I think you guys are going to be some of the top teams to beat. So with that, we're going to jump into our round two wrap up, guys. First game, we had Tanunda versus Williston. It was our Pride round this weekend, actually, and this game being our Pride round cup. We had Williston take the bickies on that one. 18 goals, 13 points, 121. Kicked away from Tanunda, who just couldn't get a score on the board. But look, Tanunda's best in Shari Wilson versus our old team. Bit of controversy there. We oh, love geez. it. But Shari, as always, chucked on the Guernsey and represented the club well. Um, third best in, got to have a shout out to Mackenzie Thompson. Tanunda actually got her back down from the Northern Territory. Don't know what the rules are about imports in the uh, league at the moment, Grady, but well done, Macca. Good to see you back out there. Williston's best in Ashley Chomick as well, kicking three with their captain, Lily, though. Kick oh, five goals. Amazing game by her. Absolutely, Absolutely. incredible. Um, voted best on ground was Chelsea Warner from Williston, winning the best on ground medal, which is amazingly named after two legends and absolute pioneers of the BLGW, Natalie Seaman and Megan Borsveen as well. So massive congratulations. What a game. Oh, it was amazing. And definitely those awards, like two people have paved the way for this whole league. Um, especially so it's great to see them recognised in this kind of thing. Absolutely. Second game of the round was Gawler Central taking on South Gawler. Grady, you might have a bit to say about this one. Gawler Central kicking 11 goals, 13-79, keeping South Gawler scoreless. Your best in Taylor Botton and, look, Caitlin Cotter kicked through. How good? Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, Taylor Botton had, oh, I couldn't even count how many inside 50s he had in that game. Uh, really amazing job by the whole team, especially South Gawler as well. Um, gave us a real run for their money in that first quarter. Um, amazing team, they've got a lot to come. Like, I yeah. think all the team's going to bring a real good good amount in this season. Absolutely. Obviously, South Gawler, look, struggled last week, a little bit slow out the gate this week. Coming in, though, with a new coach, and I think they had a really good pre-season this year. I think they're one to watch out for as the league continues to expand. Next couple of weeks, we get some girls back from the sample as well. South Gawler, I've got my money on. They're going to be able to push forward. Their best this week was in Zoe Craft as well. She had an absolute cracker. The last game for the round, guys, we had Light versus Neary. Light, two goals, one, 13 to Neary's 11 goals, 7, 73. Light's best in Ebony Nowak. She's had a crack a couple of seasons down at Light. Great to see her really recognised there. Neary's best in Jess Axford with Renee. Spoke about you last week. Here you are this week kicking five goals. Uh, kept Courtney Smith lower than you, mate, so make sure you give her a bit of grief about that in the comments. Look, Jess Axford coming back to Neary. Oh, That's exciting for them. That's exciting. So exciting. To, there's some amazing names coming in, especially with the week to come, uh, with Sample or week two will come, yep. oh, <laughs> especially with the week to come, um, 
Sample is going to be bringing a huge amount of new, fresh talent, yeah. young legs in, um, and it really just turned up this whole competition. Which absolutely, we've like. seen it the last couple of seasons as well. Once you know the Sanfo again, the development league quiets down. We get a lot of those girls come back. The Brossa League's great for them to come back and play some really good footy. So again, next couple of weeks. Anything can happen, oh, mate. It'll be a whole new game. Absolutely, guys. We'll jump in in one second to give you the uh, tips for our round three. Grady, I'm going to ask you for your tips, mate, all right? Make sure the girls do get a little bit loud in the comments here, so don't ruffle too many feathers, all right? Our first game of round three, we've got Williston taking on you guys, GC. Anzac Day night game, it should be a great game. Oh, it'll be a great, it'll be a great game, that, um, Absolutely. the grand final, you know, remake coming yep. in. Um, Anzac Day night game, where I think yep. we're between the B's and the A's as well. Which amazing. Is an amazing crowd to have around, to support as yep. well. Um, Got to back my team in. Obviously. I'll give you that. I'll give you and that, Grady. I'll back them in with my heart. Uh, we have a really great team, yep. amazing talent coming yep. in. Um, Williston will be a huge competition to have. It Always. will really show um, where everyone's at yep. for this season, but it'll be an amazing night. Look, mate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tip against you there. I'll go uh, the Donnies, see what happens. I like a little bit of a conflict there, but we like that. Next game uh, of the round is South versus Light, mate. Who's going to take that one? Well, definitely um, yep. after versing South this week, yep. um, I think they'll come off real strong. Yep. First quarter, um, but I've got to back Light in with them, yep. especially because they'll have a few... Few numbers, they got some good young legs in there as well, so yep. got a backlight with that one. I'm going to jump on the light bandwagon as well. Again, I think Miko's done a great game with her. Shout out to Miko, Ca uh, coaching down there at light. I'm looking forward to seeing her uh, out of her retirement, mate. I, I do it in that because nobody ever retires, Miko, all right? And the last game of that round, Angerston versus Nuri. Who's going to take that one? Oh, I think this will, that'll be a definitely a yep. great game to watch. Um, going to have to back Nuri with yep. some of those big names in there. You've got Renee <laughs> in yep. there, ki obviously kicking what, five the yep. other week. Um, Jess Axford, another big yep. name. I think it'll be a great game to watch, so good yep. competition, but got to back Nuri in for it. Love it. I'm going to jump on the pants as well, just for a bit of conflict. They're coming out of a bye week, so I think they're going to be fresh as out on the field. And we've got Tanunda having the bye, so again, Maka, don't bother getting on a flight this weekend, mate, but next weekend Tanunda will be back onto it. Grady, thanks for joining me, mate. Oh, more than happy to come in. Absolutely, guys. And that is our round two wrap-up, guys. Don't forget to jump on board the Benchwarmers Facebook page, guys. Your support supports us, all right, and that's how this keeps going. So jump on, give a follow and a like, and we'll see you next week.